United Silk and Carbide is excited to announce the industry best 6 milliohm 750 volt Gen 4 series silicon carbide FET. With this announcement, we offer an expanded product family that will enable new levels of design flexibility. United Silicon Carbide's new fourth generation 750 volt silicon carbide FET series is extending on our previous performance leadership to give users new low in RDS on while offering a higher voltage rating than the conventional 600 or 650 volt switches. The products being announced here are really aimed to answer the call of what users are asking for in their high performance power switches. The G4 series FETs certainly answer the call of lower losses and increased efficiency that one's come to expect with wideband gap power switches. We're taking that to new heights with the lowest RDS on per unit area of any technology available. Beyond just the losses, power designers are always looking for more cost effective and more robust solutions. They want additional design margin, which allows sim simpler thermal designs wherever they can get it, but they're not willing to sacrifice large hits in efficiency or cost to do this. What designers really need are high performance, cost effective products that they know how to design with, but also a portfolio that is broad enough to give them the design flexibility where they can push things like performance, cost, or thermal management as various end products in their market spaces will require. At United Silk and Carbide, we think we've heard these calls and we are answering this with our expanded 750 volt FET family. We've released nine new UJ4C and UJ4SC devices with the industry's lowest RDS on of 6 milliohms in a TO247 package. We've complemented our existing 18 milliohm and 60 milliohm products with new 9, 11, 23, 33, and 44 milliohm. 750 volt switches offered in three lead and Kelvin source connected four lead TO247 packages. These devices offer the best in class figure of merits, including the best RDS on times area of any technology. This results in low QRR or reverse recovery, low switching losses, and low COSS energy related and COSS time related parameters. The gate drive simplicity is maintained with a 0 to 12 volt of recommended drive voltage and a full 5 volt threshold. The parts are compatible with all common silicon carbide MOSFET, silicon IGBT, or silicon superjunction MOSFET gate drive voltages. And the new 6 milliohm 750 volt low RDS on switch comes with a robust 5 microsecond short circuit with stand time. The 750 volt fourth generation FET portfolio is now offered in 13 discrete products. The lowest RDS on products, the 6 milliohm, 9 milliohm, and 11 milliohm FETs, will be offered in TU247 four lead packages. While the higher RDS on products, the 23 milliohm, the 33 milliohm, and the 44 milliohm new products, will be offered in both three lead and four lead TU247 packages. And samples of all of these products are available now. This chart shows the new UJ4SC 750V 6 milliohm K4S along with its peers in the 650V and 750V class. The new United Silicon Carbide FETs offer an on resistance that's half of its closest competitors. These new products are changing the game of what's achievable in standard discrete packages. The industry's lowest RDS on discrete will also come with the industry's best short circuit withstand time. In the figure here, you can see the short circuit current waveform of the new 6 milliohm 750 volt FET when starting from TK equals 25C shown in the gray curve, or when starting from TK equals 175C in the blue curve. The bus voltage for both cases is 400 volts. Even when starting from TJ Max, the device safely withstands more than seven microseconds. The five microsecond rating will allow designers adequate time to detect and safely shut down a short circuit fault. The Gen 4 750 volt devices have benchmark figures of merit. Despite the extra 100 volts of blocking margin, they offer lower RDS on per unit area than their 650 volt competitors. Here you can see a very low specific on resistance of about 0.7 milliohm centimeter squared at room temperature, increasing by less than 2x at 125C. 
They offer the lowest on resistance across the entire range of practical operating temperatures. Their lower RDSA gives rise to a smaller die size and consequently lower output capacitance and lower stored energy in this output capacitance, EOSS. This energy is dissipated in the device during each hard switching cycle. If we represent a hard switching figure of merit as RDS on times EOSS, then you can see that the 750 volt Gen 4 United silicon carbide FETs are nearly two times better than their 650 volt silicon carbide competitors. The silicon carbide FETs are also excellent choices for soft switching applications. Here the devices maintain a very low RDS on times COSS time related figure of merit, which allows high switching frequencies and low conduction losses in soft switch converters. With their low gate charge and 0 to 10 or 0 to 12 volt drive voltage capability, driver losses can be cut substantially. The United Silicon Carbide FETs also feature an ex excellent integral diode with low VF, which is typically less than 1.5 volts, and a very low QRR. This body diode enables reliable operation, even in cases when residents may be lost. As we talk about RDS on, let's look at how United Silicon Carbide's fourth generation FET technology continues to push towards the ideal switch. On this chart, you can see the RDS on times area versus blocking voltage of unipolar FETs. At 7 to 10 milliohm centimeter squared, you can see the state of the art 650 or 600 volt silicon superjunction MOSFETs. They're well below their 1D limit, but they're still quite far from reaching the on resistance of their wideband gap counterparts. Next, we move to GAN FETs in the yellow bubbles and still lower silicon carbide MOSFETs in the black squares. The silicon carbide MOSFETs are plagued by their inversion channel resistance as their performance substantially diverges from their theoretical limit as one moves to lower voltage ratings like 650 volts. The United Silicon Carbide FETs are unmatched in on-resistance performance. They're nearly a factor of three below their closest competitor at 650 volts. The 750 volt G4 United Silicon Carbide FETs are now available with on-resistances ranging from 6 milliohms to 60 milliohms in a TU247 3 lead and 4 lead package. The expanded portfolio with nine new devices now offers designers more flexibility to optimize their system for what's most important. For example, prioritizing efficiency or thermal management complexity and cost can be done without having to compromise with a limited selection. The full selection of 750 volt devices also allows designers to address many applications or power levels with the same benchmark technology supplied by United Silicon Carbide. This is rather than designing in multiple manufacturers components to cover their range of products. Let's turn our attention to some key areas where the new Gen 4 750 volt silicon carbide FETs are well positioned to provide the performance leadership and design flexibility that users are looking for. Onboard chargers and DC-DC converters are key areas where silicon carbide FETs are seeing increasing adoption. Here in the front end PFC can benefit from the new Gen 4 FETs low on resistance and excellent hard switching performance, not to mention the superior integral diode. Meanwhile, the LLC and the CLLC isolated DC-DC converters associated with the auxiliary DC supply and the main battery charger are a great fit for the G4 FETs. They have low on resistance, low output capacitance, and a simple zero to 12 volt gate drive. The 750 volt rating also allows for 400 or 500 volt battery voltages. The 750 volt rating gives adequate margin for a 400 or 500 volt battery system. The low on resistance makes the Gen 4 FETs great options for the EV traction inverters. The low VF and low QRR of the integral diode results in low dead time and turn on losses. The new 6 milliohm, 9 milliohm, and 11 milliohm FETs are great choices depending on the power level, and the 6 milliohm product comes with a robust 5 microsecond short circuit rating. This chart tabulates the losses of Gen 4 FETs versus silicon IGBTs. We use a 500 volt bus and compare a conventional IGBT plus diode to six of the new 750 volt 6 milliohm FETs in parallel. We can cut the losses by a factor of three or more at full power. But since the FETs have no knee voltage and low switching losses across all load conditions, the losses are cut even more at light load. 
This is where the vehicle will operate most. In light load, you can see that the losses are five to six times lower than IGBTs. Now let's do a similar comparison to 650 volt sodium carbide MOSFETs. In this case, we look at the new 11 milliohm 750 volt FET versus 15 milliohm or 20 milliohm MOSFETs at a power level of 200 kilowatts. If we consider compar comparable total die area, let's say 11 of the United Silicon Carbide FETs compared to seven of the 15 milliohm MOSFETs, then we can see considerable loss savings of almost 40% and a lower junction temperature with a reasonable 108 degrees C compared to an impractical 154 degrees C. We can also look at the problem from the perspective of comparable losses. Here, looking at nine of the new 11 milliohm FETs compared to nine of the 15 milliohm MOSFETs, you can see similar temperature rise, but at 40% less die area. So the benefits of United Silk and Carbide FETs and attraction inverters should be clear. Lower losses for a given footprint or better efficiency, or one can use a smaller form factor or less die, giving reduced total cost for the same losses. As electric vehicle infrastructure continues to expand, another area where United Silicon Carbide FETs excel is in the wireless charging systems. The FETs offer the lowest RDS on per unit area, a very low EOSS, and an excellent diode with low VF and low QRR. These features make them attractive components for the secondary side rectifier in the wireless systems. Another potential benefit of United Silk and Carbide technology in this application is shown in the full bridge rectifier schematic shown on the slide. If one uses normally off United Silk and Carbide cascode FETs in the high side positions and our normally on Silk and Carbide JFETs in the low side position, then the loss of gate control power will simply safely cut off power supplied to the output. This is a great functional safety feature that is achievable with the unique and flexible solutions that United Silicon Carbide can supply. The G4 FETs are a great fit for off-board and industrial battery chargers. These FETs work well as the primary side FETs in a phase shift full bridge circuit. We now offer a variety of G4 750 volt FETs to meet a wide range of charger power levels for up to 500 volt battery systems. Solid state circuit protection is a natural fit for United Silicon Carbide FETs with their industry leading on resistance. These applications are often size and thermally constrained, demanding very low conduction losses in very small packages. Our 750 volt, 6 milliohm, 9 milliohm, and 11 milliohm FETs and United Silicon Carbide normally on J FETs are ideal for AC and DC breakers as well as solid state power control units. The devices offer good short circuit performance and UIS robustness. The new G4 FET portfolio offers a variety of solutions for the IT infrastructure data center power supply segments. In the front end totem pole PFC circuit, the G4 FETs offer low on resistance, excellent hard switching figure of merit, and a superior integral diode. In the DC DC stage, the commonly used LLC circuit benefits from their low conduction losses and low COSS. The diode has a low VF and QRR, and their 0 to 12 volt drive voltage can simplify driver design and cut driver losses. The 18 milliohm to 60 milliohm G4 silicon carbide FETs are great options for the totem pole PFC and DC DC stages. To illustrate the performance and flexibility of the new expanded 750 volt portfolio, we've applied the G4 FETs to a totem pole PFC. The input voltage is 230 volts AC and the output is 390 volts, switching at 65 kilohertz. We've tested the PFC with the 18, 23, 33, and 44 milliohm FETs in each of the fast leg switch positions. One can see a peak efficiency over, of over 99.3%. But it's also clear that the best component choice for the PFC may be selected based on several factors. If full load efficiency is paramount to the application, then one may consider the 18 milliohm or the UJ4C075018K4S, which maintains over 99% efficiency up to full load of 3.6 kilowatts. If optimizing the cost performance at light load or mid load is critical, then the 23 and 33 milliohm 750 volt FETs are an excellent choice. 
with the 23 milliohm device yielding performance slightly to the 18 milliohm device at full load as conduction losses begin to increase. For the light load performance of up to about 1.8 kilowatts, the 44 milliohm device offers a good performance at cost savings compared to the lower on resistance components. This is just an example of how the new expanded G4 portfolio can offer the right solution, depending on what the customer's critical parameters may be. Here, we've simply dropped our new 23 milliohm and 33 milliohm UJ4C 750 volt FETs into the primary side bridge positions of a 3 kilowatt LLC DC DC converter. The converter is stepping down from 380 volts input to 54 volts output. The devices are simply tuned with gate resistance and output snubber capacitor, and all other driver conditions and operating configurations of the converter are left unchanged. The plot shows an efficiency improvement for both of the new G4 FETs across all load conditions when compared to a 31 milliohm 600 volt silicon superjunction MOSFET. At light load, they give substantial efficiency improvements of about 1.5% and about 30% loss reduction with the silicon car carbide FETs on the primary side. At 50% load, the losses are cut by 15 to 16%. And at 90% load, the silicon carbide FETs offer about 20% reduction in total loss. This is another example of how United Silicon Carbide's expanded G4 FET portfolio offers a simple, flexible solution, helping designers push performance in a variety of functions inside their power electronic systems. You can easily evaluate our new Gen 4 silicon carbide FETs as well as all of our other FET and diode products in the United Silicon Carbide FET Jet Calculator. The calculator tool supports 26 unique power topologies, including AC to DC, inverter, and DC DC, both isolated and non isolated converters. The new FET Jet 2.0 shows instant bar chart results for both losses and efficiency. It includes gate drive and snubber recommendations and allows users to download design results in PDF reports. The link is shown here from unitedsiltoncarbide.com and no registration is required. To summarize, United Silicon Carbide is excited to announce its new UJ4C, UJ4SC 750 volt FET series, featuring the industry's best RDS on of 6 milliohms and a broad portfolio of 750 volt devices, where more devices truly equals more design flexibility. These together enable new performance levels for your powered electronic systems.